Jack makes a loan of $2,000 to his friend Jake at 5% simple interest. How much will Jake owe to his friend after part A, two years? So because we're talking about simple interest, we can find that by using this formula. I is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. Okay, so if we're talking about two years, then I is going to equal the principal, which is how much you start with, 2,000, times the rate of interest, keep that as a decimal, so 5% is 0 0.05, and then the time in this case is two years. So multiplying that together, we get interest of $200. Okay, but he still owes his friend the money that his friend loaned him. So altogether, he's going to owe the 2000 on top of the 200 So he's going to owe $2,200 to his friend. Okay, let's say it takes only six months for him to pay him back. So I is equal to the principal times the rate. And then the time is always in years. So since we're talking about six months in this example, in terms of years, that's going to be a half a year. If it was three months, that would be a quarter of a year, and so on. So multiplying this together, 2,000 times 0 0.05 times half is 0.5, we're going to get $50. On top of the loan, so he's going to owe 2,000 plus 50, so $2,050. Okay, let's look at another example with simple interest. So some student loans offer an interest-only repayment option under which you make monthly interest payments while you're in school and then pay only on the principal after your graduation. So suppose you borrow $10,000 at 6.25% simple interest for one year. What are your monthly payments if you're only paying on the interest only? So because this says simple interest, we're going to use our simple interest formula. So I is equal to the principal, which was the $10,000 times the rate as a decimal, so 6.25% is 0 0.0625, and then the time is one year. So multiplying that together, we get interest of $625. So for the entire year, you would owe $625 in interest. So if you're making monthly payments on the interest only, then monthly, if you're paying 625 for the entire year, you would divide that by 12 months. So every month you're going to pay about $52 and say eight cents. If this is a really good plan because then at the end of the school year, you don't have to pay any interest. You're just going to pay back the $10,000.